you're getting very close. You can see the Cracker Barrel from here. That Cracker Barrel is your landmark. Turkey Run Nights is going to be happening right here. You're gonna make this right at, I think it's first, it's turn one drive. You're gonna turn right in here. Yep, this is it. All right. I am in the car with Greg Pellisier, the director, managing director of Daytona Turkey Run, and we're gonna show you where to park for the nighttime show. It's yeah. free, and come on down. My official thing is event coordinator. Okay. E event manager. Event, event manager. manager. Yeah. If you're coming from the east side, beach side, you're just gonna come out the ISB, and you're gonna drive right past these two overhead walkways you see up ahead. Right. The right. Turkey Run Nights. Uh, Tell me about Turkey Run Nights. Turkey Run Nights, well, one thing before I do that, okay. when, we, when you get the turn in up here, we will have an electronic message board out there okay. to help identify the spot, so it should make it easier to pick out. <laughs> but the Turkey Run Nights is our uh, new nighttime show. Um, there's just been something lacking here ever since they shut Bel Air Plaza down, and we're trying to somewhat recreate that uh, to the, you know, to the best of our ability. Nobody can ever duplicate it because that was a very organic event. That Where, had was? Life Where was that at? It was at Bel Air Plaza on the beach side. Uh -huh. and, uh, is that plaza gone or is it still the sitting? The plaza's still there. The landlord doesn't want the cars there uh -huh. no more because they clogged up the parking lot okay. and uh, took it away from his people. Now, this pavilion right here on the left is where we're gonna be. And you are gonna turn left right here at this stoplight. And this is turn one drive. Correct, you see that? Yes sir, I got it right there. And you'll yep. turn in right here. We're gonna have um, uh, a couple of food trucks here. Um, we're gonna have uh, a DJ 50-50 drawing. We're gonna have door prizes every night. Um, and just gonna be a laid back atmosphere. No big deal, no games, no no nothing. And uh, the one difference we're gonna have here between Bel Air Plaza and us is we are not gonna let the spectators driving their grocery getters park in with the show cars. The right. show cars are gonna be parked in one area and the spectators are gonna be in another one. So. And that'll leave more room for show cars and uh, Great. Yeah. hopefully everybody takes advantage of this because there's really no other gig in town i mean there is one other one around that will shall we remain nameless but they're, char <laughs> they're charging 20 bucks ahead wow. to park their car our event is all free so you're going to come in here right through here now this gate's closed right now at, right here ahead but it will be open during the uh, event this gate straight ahead. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Now and we'll, this gate to the left. Okay. Now, will these gates be locked after the event? After so everybody's got to get their cars out. Everybody's got to leave at eleven. So we want to do the same road. thing. Yep. And as you can see, you've got quite a bit of room. Yeah. We have a huge parking lot here. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. And I know we can park easily six hundred cars here. Now this is not spectator parking. Well, the during the day, about. during the day, this is spectator parking, uh -huh. which is why we have to start this event at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Get your butt down here with your hot rod. Get your butt down here with that classic car. Bring yourself down here with that, with your uh, your, your your chairs, and come hang out with us. Greg, this is fantastic, buddy. Now, I think we've got a lot of room here, and. What we're going to do, the, our featured cars this year are going to be the blower cars and they're going to get the park, they're going to park right here surrounding the pavilion and then everybody else will be able to park out here at that entire parking lot. Uh, we hope to fill the whole darn thing up. That, that would be the goal. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is a new event. And you know, like a lot of these, we just we're going to depend on word of mouth, and hopefully, we, if we have a good event, the word will get out, and the event will grow and grow. That's that's the plan. So, uh, 
anyhow, right up here in the pavilion, we're going to have our, this, where, this is where you'll come to buy your show tickets on Wednesday night. The this, is the, this is the first place they can buy them, correct? This is the only place they can only buy them place. before the show. Wow. It's Wednesday night from 6 to 9. They will be right right straight ahead here uh -huh. where these tables are. Those tables will be moved. We'll be, the raffle truck will be there. We're going to have DJ food trucks. That's starting Wednesday, Wednesday night. Now we're going to go to the three locations where you can bring your show cars in. Now this is one entrance right here uh -huh. is the tunnel. The tunnel the is turn, one of your the entrances. The turn four tunnel. Turn four now tunnel. I will show you how to get to that because you can't turn straight in. Okay. You have to come in through the side. So Bill France Boulevard will be shut down. Do not try yeah, and make yeah. a right you or don't, a left. You don't come in there. You can't come in that way. Right. The signs will direct you to the airport. This is where the airport entrance would be. Okay. So that's the landmark you look for, the Daytona International Airport sign. There's your landmark. All right. All right. Then you're going to turn there, and you're going to come right on down the road here. And you'll see electronic message board signs like this, too, out and about to help you get in. Yeah, all right. But uh, you're going to come in here, and you're going to hang a right on Richard Petty Boulevard to come in here. And this is how you're going to get into the tunnel. You're going to come down this way. And you'll, this will be, you'll be lined up right here where we're driving right now. Uh, you know, they get lined up in the morning. Right. People get here early. And that is the key of getting a decent parking spot. Don't, don't stay home till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock to come out here and expect to get a prime spot. <laughs> if you want a really good parking spot, you need to get out and come out early. Uh, that's just, just the way it is because we do not reserve parking spot other than we do have reserved club parking and those people have all, that's for clubs that have paid right, for a right. spot. But anyhow, you're going to come up right up here and you're going to go right here through the tunnel. You will have, our people will be out here, there will be, there will be signage out here at the time, uh, which we'll be putting that up probably went Tuesday or Wednesday, but uh, that's where you'll go. Awesome. All right. That's, that's uh, number one. That's number one entrance. All right. So. All right. Now, here we are. We're going to be coming up to gate 70. You're, so you're going to drive past the airport entrance, and you'll come up, and there will be, again, there will be a message board sign out, but you can see the big sign there on your right that says gate 70. Now, you'll come right through here, and... Uh, this gate, though, will be all the way open. Yeah. So you're going to come up here, and you'll you'll go underneath this awning right here, and that's there'll be like four or five lanes right here, and you'll come through here, and they will take your money from you, and hand you a ticket and your sticker, and you'll go through, and you'll come right around this light pole here, and come through the hole in the wall here at the end of the back straightaway. And then, boom. You got cars coming at you at 200 miles an hour from your left. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but you'll drive through that here and you will come down you go by these cones here. The photographer usually sets up right here on your right and takes your picture as you come in. And you will come down and around. And, uh, well, you can't go anyplace else now. This road takes you right through the inner hole in the wall. And when I'm here, folks, and I'm doing my live videos and I'm doing my video works, I'm standing next to that last pole right there. I can get up there. If you see me, stop and say hello to me. I'll be right there. Here's the dirty little secret. This gate gets backed up and you can get held up here. You can drive right past gate 70 and come on down the road here. And we have gate 60 which usually has a much shorter line, which especially if you've got a car that's prone to overheating when sitting in traffic, right. might be beneficial to you. Here on the right for people watching planes taking off, and this is where gate 60 is. 
it's right at the end of that car park and you'll come through here now of course this gate will be open for the show and our ticket people will be right here you'll you will see them right here that's it that's their tent where they'll be set up at so this will get you into the track also much quicker and with a shorter line than going through gate 70. gate 70 is by far the busiest gate so you can you can if your car is not too low and you can get through the tunnel turn one the turn four tunnel is a good option gate 60 is a good option and gate 70 works good they move that line pretty good but it does they they stage those cars four and five rows wide wow. so it does get pretty busy down there